two United States House representatives call Maryam Rajavi and discuss the uprising and developments in Iran. Two U.S. congressmen, Danny Davis, a senior member of the House Oversight and Reform Committee, and Steve Cohen, chairman of the Subcommittee on the Constitution and Civil Justice and co-chair of the Congressional Iran Human Rights and Democracy Caucus, called Mariam Rajavi and held talks online about the latest developments regarding the uprising in Iran. In talks with Representative Steve Cohen, Mariam Rajavi said, Women are playing a, a leading role in this uh, protest, but their demands are not limited to rights for freely choosing their attire. Uh, they want gender equality in every aspect, including economic and political leadership. They also know that so long as this regime is in power, they will not achieve their rights. Representative Cohen commended the efforts of Mariam Rajavi, the Iranian resistance, and all those who work for Iran's freedom. He said, Well, that's what I've, we've all in, in, the, in, the, in our caucus are for, is a free and independent uh, Iran that respects the rule of law and that respects people's rights and that is a, a, a non-nuclear uh, friend of the world. When I see the, the women on the streets uh, protesting, I feel for their courage. I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you for what all the, everybody that for freedom in Iran is doing. And I assure you that I will remain on the front lines supporting the protests and supporting a free Iran. In the end, he expressed his wish to see a free Iran and travel to a free Tehran. I look forward to visiting a free Iran, a free Tehran, and a, and a, and a, and a member of the peaceful nations of the world. In her talks with Representative Danny Davis, Mayam Rajavi pointed out that the Iranian people's nationwide uprising has entered its fourth week. Most of the martyrs are young girls and boys, uh, such as Zakaria and Arman at Zahedan or Hanane at uh, Noshar and mm-hmm. Nika Shakarami at uh, 17 years old girl that was brutally tortured and her body was uh, delivered to her family with broken skull. And regime uh, threatened her family that uh, they must uh, not talk but her mother uh, has uh, bravely exposed this crime. And I remember once uh, late uh, John Lewis, that is my view, was an icon of human rights in the US, said, fight the good fight. Uh, and now the Iranian people and resistance units and rebellious youth in the streets of Iran are determined to do so. Representative Davis closed his remarks by saying, I admire your work and will continue to support it. Thank you very much. And uh, we will follow suit, follow up, encourage our government to be as supportive as possible. And I always say to continue The struggle must continue, and we will conquer without a doubt.